All new tonight, we're getting our first look at what school might look like in the fall in Fairfax County. Social distancing with just about a dozen students per classroom if they go back to actual classrooms at all. Evan Lambert obtained a document detailing those scenarios. He's live at Thomas Jefferson High School near Alexandria to break it all down. Evan? Jim, can you imagine just 12 students in a class, desks spaced out six feet apart? It sounds impossible, but this is one of the scenarios that the Fairfax School District presented to the school board for a possible return to physical classes in the fall. Now, the only way that would be possible is if there was some kind of alternating day schedule, which they seem to be considering with students attending some days virtually and some in person. According to the plans, it could also present a major problem for for the existing transportation system. Maintaining distance on buses would require hundreds more buses and drivers, but FCPS is also considering having students come back in the fall virtually, at least at first. In the third scenario, the district would prepare for the fact that some students and staff, especially those with underlying health conditions, would not be able to come back to the building at all. Those students might have to enroll fully online. We spoke to the president of the Fairfax County Teachers Union to get her reaction to these proposals. We cannot start school until it is safe, until we know it is safe and healthy for our students as well as our staff. Our adults are not practicing good social distancing. So um, being realistic and reasonable with our children um, to expect them to come in and automatically fall in place with social dis distancing, I think is a lot to expect. And the union president saying right now she does not realistically see in the beginning of the fall, the start of school, any physical in-person classes happening. But those are some of the proposals that will be discussed by the Fairfax County School Board next month as they decide and figure these things out. Also, interesting to note, those plans didn't make any mention of face masks. It is unclear if masks would be required or recommended in school buildings here in Fairfax. Back to you.